And so am I. Let's talk about gravity and evolution. Our visual cortex goes like this. This yin and yang symbol is a plane. It's the first two dimensions. And the yin and the yang and the yang and the yin are particles. The curvature here is a wave, but the wave has to do with concavity and convexity because that's the only way I can visualize this without doing math. So let's take a look. So colors occur through pigment or light. The visible spectrum, when you put it all together, it becomes yang. The pigment spectrum, when you put it all together, it becomes yin. What's occurring in between here is physics calls it an end brain. I call it an interface. Uh, Chinese medicine calls it the Nijing Two. Here's the Nijing Two superpositioned onto the brain from the bottom up. And then these are the five elements of Chinese medicine. I can't remember the Chinese for it. It's called the, the five phases. Our optic nerve and our olfactory nerve don't leave our brain. I just learned that yesterday. That is why China has metal as an element. So the metal element in TCM aligns to our olfactory experience and that nerve goes right into our amygdala. This really does fucking matter for things like physics, truly, because the second cranial nerve is our optic nerve. That doesn't leave our brain either. We have a triaxial brain. One of the brains is an N brain. So I do string practice. And whoever made this chart, I, this happened, I believe, after Linnaean taxonomy in biology. This is an evolutionary model. So as evolution, this is epigenetics. This is the first generation, the second generation, and the third generation. This is a Moby. Oh, motherfucker. I can't see anything in my head. This is how the Mobius of low two shows up um, in the human. Uh, fuck me. Hold on, let me show you. So the nine grid of low shoe, that's a Mobius strip. I just realized that today. <laughs> so this would be like a piece of paper. This would be a Mobius strip. Three would be I take a piece of paper and I just fold the sides in on each other. And then four, I actually need to build something. And the way this is translated is the Tao that cannot be named from nothing comes one to two to three to the myriad things. And something I know that the universe of the science seems to not is that all of this is propaganda inherently because it's, there's always a bias. This five here, that's that, those five elements of Chinese medicine. This aligns to flatland. This, as the infinity and also our genetic code, holds up flatland for human. Corresponds to the number eight, to the Bagua. So there's a bias towards biotensegrity. This is how the entropy of a human occurs. We are a carbon-based life form. Now I have low shoe six. I'm, I'm truly, you want, uh, this turns into fucking uh, Tesla. This is carbon, this is oxygen, this is hydrogen. Chemically, I don't want to fucking split hydrogen, do I? No. Also, as a molecule, water is less dense when it's frozen. I know that light really matters, I do. I know for the math it really matters. We are not that, our minds are that fast, but not us. We are, we are to the, the, like the slow and steady. Pivot is from all hierarchy back to rostral caudal contemplation, and that's gonna flatten the mind and then all the physics people you will realize that your astrophysics and your quantum physics is the same because we are on the mobius of the third dimension with all of it really super duper important thing is that we are born with soft shells this is the corresponds to the fontanelle and there's something about burla luli um, as it relates to the heart and pericardium, but the brain and cerebral spinal fluid is Archimedes. 
And that's because I do alchemy, because you have to move energy up the spine using inner pressure. It's that squeezing effect. And so anyway, uh, what does that have to do with evolution, you ask? There, there cannot be a physics without a human to contemplate it. Straight up. What Meng Po taught me is that the singularity of a human is a fertilized zygote and that the string of a human is the umbilical cord and the wave of a human is the orgasm and the particles are ovum and sperm. Always already. So from an information architecture perspective, I just did rhetoric and um, all I have to do is take it to three levels. That, that's all a human can perceive. That's how rhetoric works. That is uh, the first three dimensions. If you wanna bake an apple pie from scratch, you must first invent the universe. Sky Daddy Carl Sagan told me that and I rebuilt my brain. And um, as far as I'm able to perceive, this is the default mode uh, central executive and salience networks. And this is what happens when we account for the fact that the olfactory nerve and the um, optic nerve don't leave the brain. And those are factors of evolution.